Thank you very much. Now, Mr. Agnew. Talks about couple support for dairy farmers in very disadvantaged areas. I think whilst this may be a quite a good idea for beef and sheep enterprises, for dairy farming, where a lorry has to come a long distance uh, over bad roads to collect a small amount of milk three or four times a week, and where grass doesn't grow particularly well because of the, the mountainous areas, so a lot of concentrates have to be brought in. I don't really feel this is the answer for dairy farming. The report does talk about forward pricing, and I assume that uh, that means that a futures exchange would be involved in that as well. I think this is a, a particularly good idea because when these futures contracts open, the distant, the, the distant position is usually 18 months away, and there's invariably a fairly sensible price put in there by a speculator. However, the EU wants to interfere with the workings of futures exchanges through this MIFID, I think it's called, an acronym, and I know the green... Greens aren't happy about futures trading, but there's nothing wrong with it. It does help us. As far as the intervention price goes, as soon as this gets anywhere near a break-even point for milk production, it will be seen as a market. And really, I would agree with Martin Housing, it's just simply kicking the can down the road. It isn't a solution. I would like to see, and I'm pushing for this in my own country, that our competition commission's remit is altered. So instead of just looking uh, for the cheapest consumer deal. It does look across fairness in the food chain, and that's something I'm pushing there. We had an expert hearing here, and I brought a dairy farmer along from the north of England. He had a good story to tell about a, a contract he'd established with a big chocolate manufacturer. He dared to mention the name of this chocolate manufacturer, despite the fact this was a hearing, and a socialist MEP went up to the front and interrupted him. We've, I've never seen that happen at these expert hearings where somebody's rudely interrupted like that. He had a good story to tell. He was talking about connecting with a long-term buyer, but just because he mentioned the name of a large multinational corporation, that was the end of the world. Thank you.